Everybody look, it's the palace. Hey, queen. Yes, queen. Could you imagine living here? Yes, I can actually. I was prom king of high school. <laughs> Just kidding. It's for queens. You are not a queen. My high school isn't that progressive. I'm a queen. St. Paul's Cathedral, and when I was a senior in high school, I did a research paper over Sir Christopher Wren, who was the architect that built this cathedral. So, so you're going to give me a little tour inside? Even though uh, we can't bring the camera. It was like eight years ago. I don't really remember much <laughs> from that research paper that I probably didn't really do fully. I'm sure you ate. But I know it. that I did really well on it. But we can't bring the camera inside. But no, but it's so big. It's so pretty. It's the largest uh, religious structure in Northern Europe. Really? Hmm. And I now you know. know. done a hop on hop off bus tour before but I have to say it's super convenient because it's very flexible well you can just like hop off wherever you want and go see the sign and then hop back on we have a pass where we have like it's like a city pass so you can go to all these different attractions it's, it's included in your your ticket so you can go to all these places so it's like super convenient to see as much as possible in a short amount of time I have the pass to London <laughs> but it's kind of nice because we get to choose, but also we're being super touristy. Super touristy, but we get to choose where we want to spend more time than other places. And it's also nice to kind of see London from a double-decker bus. Yeah. How London of us. We're chasing the easy life. from our hop on hop off for a tour. nice afternoon tea with a manly twist <laughs> 
So we had some really good food uh, at the Mandeville Hotel. It we was walked more over like there. bite sized eats. It was very like. But it was enough food. Pick and nibble. That it was like. A enough full to be a meal. meal. Yeah. Right. It was delicious. Now we are back on our little hop on tour. hop off tour of London. And we're going back to the palace. We went to the we went to Buckingham Palace for literally maybe three minutes. But we're gonna go back and look around. Because we're making great time. Yeah. And then later tonight we're going to see Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots, which I'm so excited oh, for. I'm so stoked. You took me for a date last year at the Pantages, but to see it in London is just gonna be a whole different experience. A whole different animal. I'm losing my voice. James is sick. Yeah, it's And we're kind trying of a to help him get better, but this cold weather isn't helping very much. And especially when you wanna sit on the top of a double decker bus and just like really take in all the sights. That cold air doesn't help, but I'm willing to take that sacrifice. It's like, I don't know when I'll be back to London. Right. Okay. Buckingham Palace. Your future home. Your future home. Bow down. Okay. So yeah, we jumped, uh, we just got off the hop on hop off bus. I mean, like, this is one of those iconic places you have to stop and see. Yeah. Where does royalty live? <laughs> they live in the biggest house I've ever seen. It's funny to me how, like, close you can get up to the gate, whereas, like, uh, if you go to the White House, there's like so much depth still, you know, from where the gate is. Oh, how close you can get? Yeah, like here I feel like it's relatively close, but the White House is so different. But you you think that there'd be more security here since it is the palace. Am I right? Or is that like a weird... I guess. But also I just watched the show The Queen and seeing the palace in her life is like really cool. I miss the show Royals. We need to start watching that again. We just went and saw Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots on the West End. It was so incredible. So good. It's one of my favorite musicals ever. And we even got like a special treat and got to meet we got some to go of the cast and be on stage. And that we was so a special secrets. surprise. I just like, yeah, I'm inspired. That musical always makes me feel emotional. Great message. Great music. Ugh. It's like a if party. You, yeah, and if you've never seen it, you need to go see King Everyone Boots. needs to go see It'll change Boots. your life in the it, best of ways. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. Go see Kinky Boots. There's Look, you sign. can see the sign. It's kind of blurry. As Lola would say, it's red. <laughs> like sick. Oh, look, it let's go in front of that. What is it? Look at that sign. Oh, oh. we found a sign. It's so cool. <laughs> Um, but no, we watched it at the Adelphi Theater. Um, thanks for having us, Kinky Boots. I also, awesome. I also think it's important if you come to London to see a show on the West End because you hear so much alike like, about it. And it's kind of like the equivalent of what Broadway is to New York. And just like the talent is incredible. It's just a whole other world that us in the U.S. don't know about. So seeing it was incredible. And you see how talented people in the U.K. are. <laughs> It's awesome. The West End. Hey, you should see Kinky Boots if you come. Yes. That's the one that you should see. Okay. So James is not feeling good. So I went to go get some, some kind of medicine for him. But because he's not feeling good, I thought I would get him some flowers. Hopefully these will make him feel a little bit better. Hi. You should have texted me, goofball. Hi. Oh my god, I got a love you back. Bye. I got you some flowers. Hey. Make you feel better. You're so cute. You sound like a dying woman. Oh, they smell so fresh. 
No, that's not even funny. It's the end of our very first full day in London. We did... It's been so long. What a long day. We woke up at 6 Like we've been up for almost 20 hours. No, it's almost 1 a.m. We did so much. We watched the sunrise, walked around. Had saw all the historical sites. Had, had lunch. Had lunch. Had some tea. <laughs> my voice. I lost palace, my voice. Went and saw kinky boots. So many things. As uh, I'm a zombie. Uh, traveling is the best when you are with someone special. No. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> One thing that I love about this city is that I have never felt uncomfortable walking around with James at all. We can be somewhat affectionate in public and some places you probably shouldn't do that, but London is not one of them. Um, everybody is so nice, except when people are walking down the street. People are kind of in a rush. Um, but everyone that we've met has been super nice and mm -hmm. just a great, great city. London is very comfortable History. for LGBT travelers. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> London should be <clears throat> on the top of your list. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get to explore more of the neighborhoods. Yes. Yeah, tonight we just were a little... Hi. I really don't know how much I'm right sick. Now. But good night. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace and love. Peace out from London. Hashtag love is great. Hashtag love is great. Thank you for my flowers. You're They're welcome. right by my bed. Look. They're so pretty. <laughs> oh my god, good night.